Hey guys, so really quickly, I'm just going to run you through a few things on Hobnob. Um, just kind of the summary of how things work here. So let me get Hobnob app pulled up. Where am I? It's awfully slow. There we go. Okay, so to add a new invite, you're going to go down and click that big plus sign at the bottom and hit create new invite. You're going to type in your event name. So let's do Melissa's birthday party. Okay. And we're going to put it on my birthday. So let's pick August 8th. We're going to do it at, let's do it at 8 p.m. And then let's end it. We're going to end it at midnight and or 8.15. Apparently, it thinks this party's going to be really sad. <laughs> Try to do midnight again. Oh, I guess I need to do like 11.45 for that. Okay. And then let's pick a location. We are going to be partying for my birthday. Let's do it at Buffalo Wild Wings. I have some wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. There we go. Okay. Um, all right, so you're ready to go. You hit design and it's going to pull up. These are all just like random designs that are in there, but at the top where it says hobnob with that little arrow, you're going to click the little arrow and then you're going to choose keep collective. And there's your keep designs. So um, you can already see how it already adds all of your information in the invite so you can actually see exactly what it's going to look like. Um, let's see, let's go with, I'm, like, I'm liking this one. Let's go with this one. All right, so you can check it over and make sure everything's okay. If you spelled something wrong, put the wrong date for the wrong time, you can hit the arrow at the top left and it will take you back and let you edit. If you decided you don't really like that invite, the bottom left where it has those four little squares, you can click that and it's gonna pull up um, the actual invites and then let's say we change it to this one. All right, we're good to go. So we're gonna hit details. Oh, at the bottom where the camera is, you can also add your own picture if you want. Okay, so we're gonna hit details. And this is where you can add in details. So um, if we have a, a custom host name, I don't usually put anything there. Um, help your guests plan for your event. You can put like, I'm so excited to celebrate my birthday with you over uh, you. Let's have a girls night and party with wings and keep okay and then see where it says links you can actually click links and add in your links there so like i have been going and adding in my design session link so here is um like your lounge if you take your finger and you hold it where it says the design session link like the actual link if you hold your finger on that this is going to pop up and you're just going to hit copy and then you're going to go back into hobnob and paste and then done. And that's gonna add the shopping link there. If you put something wrong and you wanna delete it, you just slide to the left, hit delete. Um, and you can actually also add the Facebook event. So if you come to your Facebook, um, I guess let's just pretend that it's this one, and you hit more and then copy link, you can also put your Facebook event there. So if um, you also want them to RSVP on the Facebook event, or if you're sharing things on the Facebook event prior to the in-person, um, and you want them to be able to view it, you can add that there as well. Um, again, if you add something, you change your mind, you just swipe over and hit delete. Okay, and then, um, so we'll put, uh, if you wanna, let's say, wanna shop early, click the link below. Hold on, Sis, I'll be right there. Um, okay, and then you're going to click on event settings. You can show guest list, event chat, request guest count, a separate kid count, request photos, and auto reminders. Auto reminders are awesome. It's going to remind them before the event. It's going to remind them the day of the event, and it's even going to send them a reminder after the event with your shopping link. Hold on, Scarlett. I'll be right there. Okay, just a second. Um, and then something that's really cool too is the event chat, but they have to download the app for that. So, you know, I don't know if your guests are going to want to do that. Um, that's something that I've been wanting to test to see if I can actually get a design session completely off Facebook and get it into, um, the event chat, which it would be super cool. Okay. So then we're going to hit guests and then here's where we're going to add your invites. Okay. So this is how I do it. You could do something different, but I most likely, or you probably most likely are not going to know all of the people that your host is wanting to invite. So really the only person you need to actually invite is your host. And then when you add her as a co-host, she can take over everything else. She can do all the rest of the inviting. Now, if this is like, let's say this was like my actual birthday party. Um, I obviously would be doing all the inviting, so I would most likely have all these people in my guest list, which your guest list is your contacts on your phone. So as you can see, like it just pulls up your contacts. 
Um, so I would be able to just go through and click who I want to invite. But when you're a designer and you have a host, most likely you're not going to have all of her guest list in your contacts. If you did, that would be weird. Um, and so let's go here. So we're just going to add the host. So um, let's add, I'm going to add, let me search, yellow search. I'm going to add Carrie Webb. Don't you guys know her? Um, okay, so we're going to add Carrie Webb and hit add. And then you can actually, once you add someone, that little co-host section comes up. So if you swipe left on Carrie, then you're going to hit add a co-host. And she's just added as a co-host to this event. So um, now she will be able to do all the inviting. You've done the hard part. You've got the, um, the invite set, set up. You've got everything ready to go. And now she'll be able to take over the inviting. So you'll be able to preview. And this is exactly what they're going to see. This is exactly what the message will look like when it sends to them. So check your invite. Make sure everything looks okay. Here's what they'll be able to RSVP. Yes, I'm in. No, I can't go. There's a little map there where they can click and get directions. Here's the event details. They'll be able to add it to calendar, which is really cool. It'll add directly to your iCal. And then here are your links that you added. Um, you can add more links. Like I've been thinking, you know, why not add a link of how, you know, maybe get more information about, um, the opportunity or a link about why not get more information about are you interested in hosting like you could you could add if like we have a big sell going on right now you could add a direct link just to your sell section and you could let them know like here every here's everything that's 50 percent off um you know you could add a lot of stuff there so again it's very good at least to have your shopping link there and then if you're using a facebook event that you want them to join in on um then have that there as well okay and then it looks like you're ready to go so we're gonna hit finish and we're gonna hit send invites. And Carrie's gonna get this right now because I didn't tell her I was doing this. And she's gonna be like, what are you doing? Okay, so this is where you're gonna invite if you're inviting someone who is not on, uh, if you do not have their texting number. So you could also go ahead and do Facebook Messenger. And I could also send that to Carrie on there as well. And I could be like, hey, here's, here's your invite for your party. Here is your invite for your party. And then obviously she's going to be like, what are you talking about? Send. And then that just sent her an invite to her party. And she'll be able to do that well. She can, you know, if she doesn't have all of her guests on her contacts, she can easily do Facebook Messenger. If she wants to share it publicly on Facebook and invite, you know, the whole world or whatever, she can do that as well. Um, and then you click done and you're ready to go. And then you're able to go back to your invites and you can see your current invites there. There's my birthday party. You can click on it. Um, you can keep track of everything going on. There's your guests, how many are attending, if you have the event track going on. Again, uh, I don't know if I said this earlier, but you have they have to have the app to do the, the chat. So that's something you'll, you'll want to know ahead of time. But um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's definitely a great feature. Um, I'm just basically testing it with my hostesses. My hostesses are still really wanting to use um, they're still really wanting to use Facebook to do the invites, which I get because it's easy for them. Uh, but I'm trying to explain to them that this is going to get them a much better, um, probably a much better turnout because people pay more attention to their texts than they do their Facebook messages and especially their Facebook invites. So um, anyways, hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Bye.